Earlier today, Canonical released the Ubuntu Touch developer preview to the public. And you might be asking yourself how you can get it on your own devices. It's pretty simple. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how you install the Ubuntu Touch developer preview on your Nexus 4. It should go without saying that there are some preliminary steps to get Ubuntu for phones up and running on your Nexus 4. First, you should have ADB set up on your computer and your device's bootloader should be unlocked. That's as simple as rebooting the device to the bootloader using the ADB reboot bootloader command and typing in fastboot OEM unlock. This will take just a few moments and your bootloader will soon be unlocked and it will wipe anything and everything that is on the device off, so it's a smart move to pack up everything you need beforehand. Next, you will need to install Twerp, which is a custom recovery called the Team Win Recovery Project. It's a free download, and all you need to do is download the file, and from within the terminal, type in fastboot flash recovery and the name of the recovery image. After you do this, it will take a second to flash, and you will need to reboot the device. Once you do, you will no longer see the stock recovery option, but you'll see Twerp. From here, you need to perform a backup. This will save all of your information, but in the process, this will be lost, so if you can, move this backup off to an external drive. Next, you need to wipe the device. Select the wipe option from the home of Twerp and then select factory reset. Slide to begin the wipe and this should take just a few seconds. Once it finishes, we're on to the meat of the process. You will need to download two images from Canonical's site, one specifically for the Mako and one is the actual image for Ubuntu. The files are pretty large so it could take some time. Once they download, move them to your desktop. Your phone should still be in recovery mode so from the home page of Twerp, select advanced and then tap ADB side Load. From there, you need to slide to begin, and from terminal on your computer, type ADB sideload and the name of the file that you need to flash. The first one you should flash is for the Mako. This should only take a few seconds, and when it completes, it will prompt you to reboot. However, you do not need to reboot, hit the back button, and follow the same process again for the second file. Type ADB sideload into the terminal on your computer and the name of the file, and press enter. This process will take much longer as this is the larger of the two files, and once it finishes, hit reboot. Boot. Give it just a few moments and your Nexus 4 will reboot to the welcome screen for Ubuntu Touch. After a few more minutes, the device will finally get started up and you can play around with the whole new operating system. The best part of this entire process is that it's just as easy to go back to Android as it is to flash Ubuntu to begin with. All you have to do is download your factory image directly from Google, reboot back into your bootloader, and flash the image through Fastboot. It takes just a few minutes and you're back to how everything started. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.